Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Caroline and I'm the Director of Marketing here at The Good. Today, I am hopping on here to talk to you a little bit about the spooky season that is upon us. And no, I don't just mean Halloween. I'm talking about the season of brands being unprepared for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I'm super excited to be talking to you about this today because I think it's pretty easy for brands at this point in the year to kind of take a step back and ignore some of those opportunities for more conversions because they're so focused on their promotions and their deals and getting things set up for the holidays, which I totally understand and is definitely important, but you wanna make sure you're taking advantage of all of that extra holiday traffic that's coming to your site and you're really converting the most potential amount of visitors into buyers. So that's what I wanna share with you today, just a few different tips and ideas and strategies that you can use to optimize more of your holiday traffic. Just in case I haven't convinced you yet that this video is worth watching, I'm just gonna read you two really quick stats. 2021 brought the first ever 200 billion plus dollar holiday season in the United States, according to research from Adobe, and online spending grew 8.6% over the previous holiday season and 44% over 2019. So just keep that in mind. If this year follows any similar trends as last year, which we're pretty sure it will, there's a lot of money on the table and I want to help you make the most of it and get the biggest share of that pie. All right, so what do you actually need to do to get started? What are the steps that you can take to optimize your website for Black Friday and Cyber Monday so that you don't get categorized as a brand that's in that spooky season of being unprepared? So some of this might seem a little out of reach for you. Some of it might be really straightforward and seem really simple. Pick and choose what you think you can manage and what projects seem within your capacity and workload before the holiday season because any optimization that you can make is a better chance for you to um, convert more of those holiday visitors into buyers. So first of all, we would recommend that you start with like a little mini technical audit of your website. You might not have time to do a full on audit debrief of your whole site, but check on site speed. Make sure that your website is performing at its best. Every single millisecond that it's delayed is a chance for visitors to drop off. Secondly, you'll want to check out your website analytics and perform some kind of funnel analysis. So visualize the journey that your customers are taking through the funnel in their steps towards purchase and how that is reflected on your website. Are there really big pain points? Are there points in that journey where customers are dropping off? And I'll link in the description of this video, a step-by-step -step guide for you on both how to improve your site speed and then also how to create conversion funnel analysis on Google Analytics. You might not have time for that, but they're both really great things that you can do to get prepared for the holidays. After you've conducted some sort of technical review of your website, the next thing we'd recommend is that you conduct a user experience review. Reviews. Normally, the website analytics research that you've done in the previous step will help identify where on the website your customers are running into issues or you know what pages they're having challenges with. Then in the second step in a user experience review, you could use things like heat maps or session recordings or you know user testing or talk to your customer service representatives to help understand the why. What are the specific things on that page that are causing challenges? And as I mentioned before, you know, you might not have time to go deep into every single different research method and that's okay right now. The goal is to find low hanging fruit opportunities for optimization before the holiday season strikes. So two things that you could look at doing are number one, doing some user testing sessions with a tool like userinput.io. They have different you know, people that are in your target demographic do live in-depth reviews of your website so you can get some candid feedback that way on the pain points that you identified in the technical review stage. Or you could think about talking to customer service representatives or you know, aggregating past feedback or complaints that you've gotten and seeing if there are areas where there's really common themes that you could target for improvement before the holiday season begins. 
I'll make sure that we link in the description all of the different resources that I'm mentioning and then also some more in-depth articles or videos about the specific techniques and steps in the process so that you can deep dive into something if you think that it would be a good opportunity for you to focus on before the holiday season strikes. The next stage after you've gone through the technical audit and the user experience review would typically to find the optimization opportunities on key pages of your website and make those optimizations. So we recommend for this specific process that you take a look or focus most of your attention at least on the home page, on key product pages, and then on the checkout process. So again, I'll link in the description to longer form article that has specific ideas for each of these different key steps in your buyer's journey, the homepage, the product page, and the checkout process. But for now, I wanna share one recommendation or tip for each of them for you to consider. So first of all, for the homepage, think about removing distractions. The goal of your homepage is to get your customers one step closer to purchasing the product. So an email pop-up coming five seconds after they visit your site doesn't take them a step closer to purchase. It really just distracts them from the end goal, which is you want them to get to the product page that they are looking for. So think about removing distractions, make sure your homepage is delivering your key value proposition and really taking your shoppers one step closer to purchase. For the product page, I think a lot of brands right now are focused on adding content to product pages and there's real opportunity for you to take a less is more approach this holiday season. So make sure your copywriting on your product pages is succinct. You want to get across the benefits of your product to your customers, but you don't need to describe everything in nuanced, tiny details. Um, unless you have found through testing that that works for you, the recommendation here would be just take a look and see if there's room for you to reduce, make things more succinct and straight to the point. And then third, for the checkout process, consider hiding your discount code field on your checkout page or the promotion code field. We found that with this increase in third-party coupon apps, customers see that discount field and they're reminded, oh, I should go check on a third party website if there's an additional promo code that I could use. And it actually takes the traffic away from your website and drives it to a third party site. Now, the final stage in this process that I wanna cover is reevaluating your sales or promotional strategy. I understand you've probably had your promotion or your deals locked in for a while, so there might not be much wiggle room there, but just a few things to consider or think about. First of all, are you offering free shipping? And if you're not, could you? This is a proven way to increase conversions and also just build a better customer experience. Second of all, is there room for you to communicate with your customers about the urgency or the quantity of items left? You know, this is a really great way to not only be clear with your customers about something that they might miss if they don't act fast, but also to play a little bit on the psychology of the fear of missing out or FOMO, because if they can see many other people want this item or are shopping for it right now, it might push them to purchase now instead of waiting, you know, two days from now when they forget and don't actually even end up coming back. Third, again, understanding you might already have your promotion set, but our recommendation in general is don't lean on discounting. So find ways to add value to the purchase rather than slashing your prices or giving percents off because this creates devaluation of your products and your brands in the long run. Instead, maybe add a free gift to purchase or buy one, get one free. Different you know, techniques that don't necessarily rely on discounting your products, but still offer some added value to the customer during this holiday season when they're so used to seeing 
seeing promotions and different offers. All right, and last but not least, just a reminder, it's never too late to start optimizing. So yes, we are in the midst of fall and the midst of that spooky season, but there is still time as long as you're making your decisions based on data and not based on your gut or your assumptions that you have. So it's always okay to tweak that campaign strategy or make changes to your website based on really good data-driven um, ideas. So thank you so much for watching and um, please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time.